What's going on? It's your boy Sermon at Sermon's Domain on Twitter. Today we're here to talk about the debut album from Alessia Cara, uh, titled Know It All. Um, the album, it kind of feels a little bit rushed because half of the album is an EP that they released back in August. And, you know, the other half is new songs. Um, so you can definitely tell that it's rushed, you know. The success of Here as a single... You know, the fact that she's, like, been on, you know, TV, she's, uh, her single is gold. Um, she blew up pretty fast off of that one song, and then, it's, you know, Def Jam has been trying to capitalize off of that with the EP back in August, and now the album, you know, only a few months later. Um, which is not a bad thing, though, because I feel like she's a, she's going to be a star. Um, she has one hit, but... She's not going to be those one of those pop artists that only has that one hit. She has the potential to be a really big name. Um, and I feel like eventually she will be. So I don't feel like rushing this album is too bad because here is still relevant. It's still selling a lot of copies every week. It's still being played on the radio in heavy rotation. So the fact is, you know, it's good to strike while the iron is hot. Um, at least in her case. I'm not saying, you know, it's, it's a it's a smart strategy for everybody. But in her case, I don't see, like, the negatives. I can understand why some people who bought the EP might be a little bit, you know, disappointed. It's like, I just bought, like, half the album over the summer. Um, but I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the material. For only being 19, she sounds a lot more seasoned, um... You know, she doesn't sound like a beginner to me. Um, like like you know, like we were talking about, the record here, I remember the first day that video came out. And I seen it on the smoking section because uh, John Gotti had mentioned something about her. And I was like, okay, let me check this, this, this girl out. And um, I checked it out. And I liked the song. I didn't really keep up with it, though. I didn't, like, play it in heavy rotation. But, you know, over the next few months, it just kind of, you know, continued to, to blow up. I was out in Miami, I heard it on the radio, and it was, you know, it's interesting, because it's not your traditional type of, um, you know, hit single, it's one of those records that, it just sounds different, and the subject matter is different, who knew that like an anti-social song would make for a good anthem, you know, she did that, and then there's also on the album, there's a piano version, the 2AM version of here, which I like because... I like anything with like a piano to it. Piano and then singing, it, it's a very simple concept, but it, it's always effective. There's, you know, several songs on the album that also have like piano behind them that I liked. Um, one of my other standouts were Wild Things. I think that could be, you know, a big record going forward. Um, it has like that, that danceability, that catchy hook. Um, it's just an overall record, like, it's a contrast from, you know, where, what she did with Here, but on the album, there's not a bunch of carbon copies of Here. There's a bunch of, you know, a wide range of, of great, relatable songs, and another one I liked was River of Tears, and I loved Overdose. Um, pretty much I like everything on the album, and I love the fact that she isn't relying on anybody as a feature. There's Sebastian Cole on one record but the rest of the album is simply her and it helps her establish an identity because you know being a new artist it's not the smartest thing to flood your album with you know guest features like you know in the in the pop world it's different people are not buying you know pop albums because they have all these people on it they're buying it because it's good music you know that's where you know pop and rap differ but overall i mean the album is really good. It's extraordinary. I'm going to keep playing it and enjoying it. I definitely say you should go buy this album. Know it all. Um, and now I have three questions. So I told you how I found out about her. Um, so how did you find out about her? Let me know in the comment section. Um, and I already kind of discussed this. But what song do you think has the most single potential out of everything on the album? Um, I'm kind of leaning more towards like the records on the latter half. Just because... The first half was already an EP. It was, these songs have been out for a while, and even though they're good, you know, maybe they're not going to be pushed. I don't know. But my final question, I said the album was rushed. I feel that, 
you know, not in a bad way, but just observation. So do you think the album is rushed or do you think it's like the right time for her to put out an album? You know, let me know your your, your thoughts on those questions in the comment section and of the album in a whole, as a whole. Um, you know, she's a star in the making. Um, here isn't going to be the only hit single she has. It's just the beginning. Uh, you know, the album, the quality is certainly there. And, you know, it, it's good to put out something while it, everybody is, you know, hip to you, it's fresh in the mind, and I feel like it'll it'll sell uh, pretty well. So, you know, those are my thoughts on her album. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and then like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, share the video, follow me on Twitter, at Sermons Domain, and as always, thank you for watching, I appreciate your time, and until next time, Peace.